Hello everyone. In this video, we will show you how to create animation characters that look like real life people and how to use them to create videos. This video is for beginners who don't have any prior knowledge of animation. Hop on. Let's get started. Oh wait wait wait. Before jumping onto the video, a quick request. We noticed 97% of our viewers have not subscribed to the channel. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more awesome hacks and tutorial. So with that being out of the way, let's begin. Click on the link in the description to visit the website of Animaker. Now select the create option and create a free account. You will be directed to the dashboard. From here, click on the create option on the left. Now again, click on the create a character option. It will open the character builder of the Animaker. Before starting to create the character, keep a picture as a reference. I'm going to use this girl's picture as a reference and recreate it. You can use any of your own images. Choose the character's gender. Choose a basic template that resembles your picture. I think this character over here looks the most similar to the image we have. So I'm selecting this one. You can start with changing the color of the skin. Then we have options to change the different facial features like shape of the face, eyes, eyebrows, ears and so on. Change each of these features to match the picture. Using all these options, you can literally create billions of unique characters move to the attire. The color of the dress in the picture is green, so let's change it. Let's work on the wearables. This character is wearing a handband, so let's add it. Let's not forget to add the glasses. Once you have completed creating your character, select the save option at the top to save the character. Now let's see how to use this character to create amazing animated videos. Now get back to the dashboard. Select the create option on the left, followed by selecting create a video and blank page. A new project will be created. This is how the interface of the Animaker application looks like. At the center, we have the workspace, the place where you will be creating your videos. On the right hand side is the scene section. On the bottom is the timeline. Within the timeline, you have three different timelines. First is the animation timeline. The second is the video and the audio timeline. And finally, we have the camera timeline. On the left hand side, you can see the library, which consists of different elements that you will need to create the video. You can see the character section of the library is open by default. And it has variety of characters, starting from male and female characters. Then we have kids characters. And finally, we have animal characters. You can find the newly created character in the my character section of the library. Click on it. It will appear in the center of the workspace. On the right hand side, you can notice the actions tab in open. From here, you can apply actions to the character. Use the search option at the top to find an action. I'm going to search for the word waving. Select the action. On the timeline, you can notice a purple colored bar. It represents the duration for which this character is going to be visible. If I want the character to appear a little later, I have to select the left edge of this bar and move towards the right. If I hit the scene preview option, you can understand how this works. You can also add multiple actions to the same character and create a full-fledged animation video. We have already made a detailed video on how to animate the characters. I am adding link to that video in the description. You can check it out later. Right now the background is white in color, but you can add colors to the background. Click anywhere on the workspace. And now you can see a new option appearing on the bottom. Use the edit option to change the color. You can also add multiple colors to the background using this plus icon over here. But I am fine with the single color. If you want to add a 2D or an image background, you can access the background section of the library. Just click on the background that you like and it will get applied to the scene. I am fine with the colored background that we created earlier. So I am deleting this 2D background that we applied now. Let's see how to add text to your videos. To add text, open the text section of the library and click on one of the text boxes at the top. Now type in the text in the text box over the workspace. 
On the right hand side, you can notice the settings tab. From here, you can customize the text. You can change the font style, size, color, spacing, and even transparency. To apply animation effects to the text, we have two options named Enter Effect and Exit Effect at the bottom of the Settings tab. If you further click on the Enter Effect option, you will get a lot of different Enter animation effects that can be applied to the text. Once you click on an animation effect, you can notice a new pink colored part in the timeline. It indicates the animation effect that we applied now. You can increase or decrease the duration of the animation effect by increasing or decreasing the length of the pink part in the timeline. If you want to increase or decrease the duration of a scene, you can do that by using these plus and minus icon over here on the timeline. The plus option will increase the duration by one second and the minus option will decrease the duration by one second. Right now, the duration of the scene is 10 seconds and I want to reduce it to 5 seconds. So I'm using this minus icon over here to reduce the scene duration to 5 seconds. To create a new scene, go to the scene section and click on the add scene option over here. You can also duplicate the current scene and edit over it using the duplicate scene option over here. And also delete a scene using the delete option. Now you know how to successfully create a scene. Create multiple scenes, add your custom character, add the text and complete your video. If you want to add music to the video, Open the music section in the library. You can find more than 30,000 copyright free music tracks over here. To have a preview of a track, keep the pointer over it. To use the track, click on it. Now you can see the video timeline with the music track added to it. If you further select the track on the timeline, you will get more options. You can preview the track, control its volume, duplicate it and delete it. To download your video, go to the publish option at the top, click download video and then download. Now you know how to create animation videos with characters that just look like yourself. Click on the link in the description and start creating your videos. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and if you want to see more video making tutorials like this, subscribe to our channel.